Man United's defeat to Bayern Munich on Tuesday not only dumped them out of the Champions League, but also changed the complexion of their entire season. Um, finishing bottom of Group A means there'll be no European football at all at Old Trafford in the second half of the season, which also means that Eriksen Haag can afford to have a smaller squad. In the past, he's wanted to keep a larger group um, in case that they're successful in all four tournaments that they are involved in. Um, and then you have a situation like last season where you end up playing uh, more than 60 games. Obviously, that's not going to happen now this season, which means that there is likely to be um, at least a couple of departures in January. Um, Jaden Sancho is, is one. Um, Eric Ten Hag suggested last week that there was still a way back for Sancho at Old Trafford. Um, but the, the expectation is that if a suitable offer arrives in January, he'll be allowed to leave. Um, Donny van der Beek is, is another one. He's just not featured at all at United this season, only played twice, just not involved in, in Eric Ten Hag's plans. So again, if a, a suitable offer um possibly on loan, if that arrives, and then he will be allowed to leave. Um, other names, the likes of um, Anthony Marshall, who's, who's out of contract at, at the end of the season, um, is unlikely to be offered a new one. And then you've got Rafael Varane and Casemiro. They've been heavily linked with moves away um, at the moment that United are expecting interest in them in January. But the expectation is that they'll stay until at least the end of the season and then a, a decision will be made on their futures. Um, letting a couple of players leave in January would be beneficial to Man United because they've still got FFP concerns and if they can offload a few, maybe get a bit of money off the wage bill, it would put United in a better position ahead of the summer transfer window. Um, obviously, they had issues last summer when they wanted to spend more but couldn't because of FFP concerns. They don't want to be in that situation again next summer. Um, at the moment, though, there's still um, a week or two before, before the January window opens and it will, it will all come down to what kind of offers come in for the players who are available.